Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week for the plugin server admin tutorials, blah, 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 I'm going over simple help tickets. Now, I use this on my own server. I think it's fantastic. Anytime that you can have uh, a way for users to request help, especially if you're going to have a bigger server, it's fantastic. And I'm actually going to include this in my jail server build, which I'm sorry to keep dragging this on. I've been... <laughs> I'm actually out of town as this video is being released, and uh, I'll be back, uh, I believe, probably tomorrow from when this video is being posted, and then I'll respond to all the comments, and then hopefully next week I can do the jail server plugin tutorial. I want to kind of get a basic build so that so that uh, you guys can kind of just have something to go off of. So that's why it's taking a little longer because I don't have a whole lot of time, especially this time of year. Uh, hopefully uh, coming up, I will. Anyway, simple help tickets. So I'll put this uh, over here somewhere as well. This is from their website. And these are all the... Uh, command the user commands and the admin commands now the permission nodes is extremely easy all it is is um sht which stands for simple help tickets good thing it wasn't like simple help incident tickets because that acronym would not be good but anyway uh sht dot ticket to open a ticket that's anybody who has that permission node will be able to open those tickets and then the admin people, anybody who can administrate, you know, all these commands, reply to tickets, close tickets, all that stuff is got, needs sht.admin. I love this plugin. It's so basic. It works really well. Um, there is some limitations for um, the amount of description they can provide, but it's really great. I'm just, uh, and I can actually show you a little bit of how it works um, even as an admin. So basically what you want to do is like it says in here, you want to do ticket, uh, I'm having trouble getting this gold, gold block. All right, so you've successfully opened a help ticket. Now you can change how all of this stuff is said and you could change this and I'll show you that in a moment when we get to the config file. But basically as an admin, when you, I'll, I'll log out and log back in because it'll actually show it here. Do, 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 do. So there are currently one open help ticket. So then any admin or people who have that permission no one can see that, they can do dash all. So now it's going to select all tickets there, and they can do a couple things. They can do check ticket one, and it's going to list who opened it, the status, what the ticket is, if it's assigned to somebody or not. So um, if you want to take the ticket, you go take ticket one. Now this is going to teleport you to the location that they open the ticket, which is awesome. So cool. So now when you check the ticket, now since I've taken it, it's assigned to me. And then I could do reply, reply ticket one, because yo nub. Now, now that that shows up. So now we can do t slash tickets. Now it'll it'll say my open tickets. Now let's see. I forgot actually what the command is. I don't actually open and view tickets. All right. So then, as a user, you can do check ticket one, and then there's the uh, admin reply. Now it shows up as user reply because I opened the ticket, but it would show up as admin reply there. And then you can even, you know, delete your ticket and then, or as an admin, you can go close ticket one, um, close ticket. Yeah. You can also reopen tickets by doing close ticket R and then reopen it. So, um, tickets. Yeah. Something like that. You can delete tickets, it'll automatically purge. You can do purge tickets, which will purge expired tickets, which you can put all in the configuration file. So let's hop on over and look at that. Here we are in the config file. Now you can use these to change the colors of anything, um, but that's actually not gonna be in this section. This is this is gonna list um, the maximum tickets a user can have. This will 
list the days until the ticket expires. You can notify the admin on ticket close. Multi-world, um, true or false. You actually probably want to do this true. And I actually, I've just realized that this is very nice. And I don't have this on for my thing. I'm going to change this to true on my server. That way it'll list what world the ticket was open in, which is pretty cool. And then this is going to just, you probably want to leave those true. And then you're not really going to use it in, in the sequel. But this is where this would be. Now, the other bit is, uh, I'm actually going to drag this down a little bit. The other bit is the output field. Now, this is where you can change what this says. You can change it to support or make friends. You can do change all of these communications, which is really cool that the author did this because um, it just he lets you change all this stuff, which is so cool. And like I said, it's simple help tickets. It's very basic. Um, it works really well. All of my users love it, and uh, my admins love it. Just it helps for being able to you know help all your users make sure you're getting everything fixed make sure everybody's having a pleasant time on your server and that's it um if you found this helpful please leave a like comment and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to keep seeing tutorial admin um yes videos <laughs> and uh if if uh you have a question i'll do my best to answer it and uh yeah that's it so this is cosmic friends and as always Enjoy the I game. guess just I take damage. <laughs> For <going>. science! <laughs> I hate science. <laughs> oh, no. There we go.